Yo everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my March 2022 beauty and skincare favourites. It feels like it's been ages since I filmed anything like actually in this space because some of you may or may not know um, I spent a big chunk of March abroad. I went to Egypt first time I went abroad uh, since Covid began really. So a lot of the things I'm going to be sharing with you guys today, in particular the makeup, is actually stuff that I took with me which is a good thing in a way because I can actually really now tell you guys certain things when they say they're long wearing they really are long wearing because even though I went to Cairo I also went to Luxor for about 24 hours and now Cairo was actually colder than London typical but Luxor was about 35 degrees so I had to wear makeup or hope that my makeup would really hold up not just only in high heat but also the fact that me and my friend stayed up for about 36 hours and we had got no sleep. So my foundation and my makeup, etc., was on my face for a very, very long time. But before we get into that, let's talk about one of the things that is probably one of my favourite items for the month. And it's my contact lenses. Now, I know you guys actually asked me, quite a lot of you asked me um, in my last video where I got them from. But um, I actually wanted to specifically address them in this video so that I can give you a little bit more information other than this is just what they are. Because... Between you and me, I've been wearing contact lenses since I was about 18, 19, so 20 years. Generally, I tend to wear clear contact lenses. Now, I suffer from incredibly dry, dry eyes, uh, meaning that I get nasty eye bogies a lot as my eyes try to produce more water to keep my eyes moist. So it's very important for me to wear contact lenses that are very, very comfortable. Now, I have used coloured contact lenses in the past, and before anyone says anything, no, I don't hate my original eye colour. No, I don't want to be white. I like to change up my eyes now and then like the same way I change up my lipstick I wear different colored lipsticks so why can't I change the color of my eyes now and then as well but I do alternate between these and my clear ones which are a lot more comfortable I would say because colored lenses can generally be a little bit more uncomfortable because of the fact that they've got the coloring over them so the ones that I'm wearing are from the fresh look air optics range now they are specifically listed as being very comfortable and i have to 100 percent agree now i've tried the fresh look color blends in the past firstly i find they look just don't look real they look fake the majority of people that i see wearing color contact lenses and they just don't look quite right are generally wearing those so i actually prefer these because they look a lot more natural bear in mind also it depends on your skin color as to whether or not they will actually suit you now i've got these ones which are in the color sterling gray and i've also got ones in the color gray and i actually prefer these the others are a little bit darker what i might actually do for you guys is do an actual video showing you side by side the two different grays because grey seems to be the one colour that a lot of South Asian women tend to go for. Um, not sure exactly why, but I've used blue in the past, don't suit me. Green, kind of, I can get away with it. Hazel definitely suits me. These are the ones that tend to suit my colouring more to the point where most people don't even realise it's not my actual eye colour. But I like the fact that they're very, very comfortable. Um, I like the fact that they don't irritate my eyes. A lot of other colour contact lenses, I find it takes my eyes about a week to adjust to them. Whereas this took about a day to adjust to them. So I like that about this in that the downtime in adjustment is not that long at all. So I'm really, really happy with these. These are monthly lenses as well. I'll link everything below where I got them from. I think I got 10% off as part of my first order as well. So hopefully you guys can enjoy that. Now let's get into some makeup. <laughs> this should be absolutely no surprise. And the reason why I'm showing it first is because... As much as I was in love with this before and it was my holy grail, I took this to Egypt and this held up in the heat. And you know this is the Maybelline Superstay Active Wear 30 hour foundation. Well you guys, I wore it for 30 hours. And did it hold up for 30 hours? Beautifully. It barely broke down at all. So you can imagine, I've put this on, I remember, at about 2 o'clock in the morning, 2 a.m. And I didn't remove it till the following 2 a.m. So I wore it for about 24 hours and I was in 35 degrees heat. It was polluted heat as well as desert heat. And I was absolutely baking, but my foundation did not budge. If I did not love this before, I just, I can't rave about it enough. It is absolutely amazing. To this day, I cannot find a foundation which is as good as this and as lasts as long as this. My shade is number 36, Warm Sun. I've got a slight tan at the moment because I was in 35 degree heat and now this like matches me perfectly. Whereas 
because I've been so pale recently because of the fact that we're coming out of winter all my foundations were running a bit dark so finally it matches me it's not what I'm wearing right now by the way but yeah love this so much and another thing that I took with me obviously was the Urban Decay All Nighter Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray now I do have to admit I did spray my face quite a lot with this when I was wearing this so let's say in combination they both worked amazingly well so for those people that have got weddings that are going to be wearing their makeup for a long time they're going to be out of their house for a long time this over your makeup sets everything in place keeps it locked in tight doesn't move doesn't flake doesn't fade I just I cannot get enough of this setting spray the concealer that I took with me was the Urban Decay Stay Naked Correcting Concealer my shade is in 50 W Y. This held up beautifully again in all temperatures, all heats, all environments. But obviously, I did have to set it. I used the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder. My shades in Banana Bread, and these two worked beautifully together. This is lovely full coverage, but it's a very lightweight kind of texture, so it's not as thick and creamy as, for example, the Too Faced one. However, it covered all my under eye dark circles, barely moved throughout the day. Again, I wore this for. 24 plus hours as I did with the foundation and the only time it moved is because my eyes started to water because I was getting kind of tired and then it went slightly patchy but then that's because obviously I'd had it on for a long time and it needed to come off to be honest but I absolutely love this powder so finely milled lasts literally forever I think I'm at about a quarter now so I will be repurchasing this soon it's 20 grams and it lasts me a good couple of months before it finishes another thing that obviously came with me was the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless finish complexion perfecting micro powder my shade is in number two medium I hit pan when I was out there again I use this every single day every single day without fail I don't apply anything else and I use this to set my foundation makes it flawless makes it smooth makes it feel velvety soft makes it look airbrushed keeps everything in place all day and I absolutely love it now this guy I shared with you guys in my last favorites video but I did admit at the time that I had not used it that much now I took this with me this is is the NYX shadow and liner primer ultimate base so basically it's an eyeshadow primer and my shade is in medium but to be honest it has absolutely no color to it so I don't really think it matters what color you buy to be honest this kept my eyeshadow beautiful now it comes with a doe for applicator as you can see and you only need to apply a really small amount to your eyes blend it in let it dry and then go in with your eyeshadow my eyeshadow did not budge at all my eyeliner did not budge at all this stayed on my eyes kept my eyeshadow looking amazing and fresh for those 24 hours when I had eyeshadow on as well and in 35 degree heat so I'm really happy that I found this especially because of the fact that it's relatively affordable as well I had to obviously take one contouring uh, product with me so I took with me my Anastasia Beverly Hills powder bronzer in the shade saddle it really is coming to its last little bits the reason why I love this so much not only is because it's so finely milled and it applies and glides beautifully onto the skin but this shade in particular is the perfect mix of cool and warm so I can easily create contours on my face contour my nose my forehead that sort of thing and it looks absolutely lovely and relatively natural I took one bronzer and one blush with me but I'm not sharing the blush today because it's limited edition and you can't buy it so it'd be a bit pointless but this you can get and I've shared this with you guys so many times this is the hourglass ambient lighting powder bronzer in the shade radiant bronze light now there is a nice dent in it I've had this for about five years I use this regularly now this is not completely matte it's got a slight sheen to it but as somebody with textured skin it does not empty size texture it actually makes your skin look lovely glowy sun-kissed and bronzed so obviously when I was in Egypt which is a hot country a desert country I wanted to look lovely glowy and sun-kissed even though it was cold in Cairo so I took this with me and I absolutely love this I use this all the time forget about Egypt I use this regularly to bronze up my face and to stop me looking so pale I took two eyeshadow palettes with me which was difficult because I had to decide based on what clothes I was wearing what would match so I took these two Huda Beauty Obsessions palettes with me. This is the nude light one and this is the toffee brown Obsessions palettes. I love the fact that firstly you get nine eyeshadows in each. They're very small and very easy to take with when traveling and the quality is absolutely excellent. I was there for about 10 days so I was able to come up with 10 different types of looks with ease, mix and match and obviously like I said again because the quality is so excellent in combination with that primer it meant that my eyes looked beautiful all day and all night long. This is the the highlighter that I took with me this is the Estee Lauder double wear highlighter which is very very famous very very popular 
Smells like perfume. Now, I bought this in 2019, you guys. It's 2022, and what can I say? I mean, to be fair, I don't use it all the time. I am a makeup YouTuber. I've got loads of makeup, loads of highlighters. But this is one that I always tend to reach for, and I've noticed this is one that I always take on holiday with me, because I took this with me when I went to Korea as well. It's just the perfect gold. It goes with everything. I used it not only to highlight my face, I use it on my tear duct, I use it on my brow bone as well, I use it on my cupid's bow to emphasize the size of my lips and the quality is excellent, it is super super high shine and another reason why I love this is that it's not shimmery and glittery so you get that nice metallic sheen on the face rather than uh, glitter which can actually emphasize texture on your face. Another highlighter which I absolutely love is by Doll Beauty, this is the Doll Light Shine Bright Highlighter, this is for light to medium skin tones and there's one for medium to deep skin tones another absolutely amazing highlighter which i share with you guys on a regular basis what i'm actually wearing right now it's very powdery soft to the touch kicks up a little bit of powder but not too much it's almost like a cream powder so it really kind of glides onto the skin without without any kind of kickback or anything like that it really melds into the skin and really does not emphasize my texture at all sharing with you guys a couple of lipsticks that i took with me first off is from huda beauty now I was wearing brown a lot out there. I was thinking I was Indiana Jones. So I actually took this shade with me, which is a Drama Mama, which is one of the newly released and reformulated Huda Beauty liquid lipsticks. It's basically a deep, rich chocolate brown. Lasted really, really long time on my lips. Lasted about 10 hours, because I did have to reapply this about three, four times. But bear in mind, like I said, I was awake for a really long time. And you know when your mouth starts getting a bit crusty. So I did remove it all, put it on again, and it was good to go beautiful, lovely, and fresh. And I the fact that it's such a deep and vibrant color without it being bright. Another Huda Beauty lipstick that I took with me is this one called Lover which is like a cherry red shade. This one you cannot buy on its own. This one comes with the Kaali Juicy Kit I think it's called. Basically it comes with this full size lipstick and it comes with a small Kaali perfume which I actually keep in my handbag. I think it's an apple scented one. It's actually really nice. So I think this costs about 20 something pounds but generally you can get it on offer or deals because I did and I've bought this two times now because it is limited edition but the colour itself is absolutely gorgeous. It wears beautifully on the lips. This one I didn't have to touch up as much as the brown one but that's normally because I find more browner and deeper shades can kind of separate on the middle of the lips whereas the red one's not so much purely because it starts to actually meld into the natural colour of your lips without you realising it. Another lipstick that I took with me is this one by Kiko Cosmetics. This is number seven. I can't remember the name. It's basically a magenta shade. The quality of these liquid lipsticks are absolutely excellent. I actually find them to be a little bit better than Huda Beauty's. Oh my God. And basically you just need to apply one light layer. They're very, very opaque. It lasts a really, really long time. You maybe only need to touch it up slightly throughout the evening if you do go out, just generally around the edges where it might have faded. But overall it's absolutely excellent. It costs a fraction of the price in comparison to Huda Beauty. I took two maybe Superstay Matte Inks with me, which should be of no surprise. I've told you guys a million times, these are my favourite drugstore liquid lipsticks. This is in the shade Shock Caller, which is a deep, bright red, if you can have deep and bright in the same sentence. But it looks amazing, a really standout kind of colour, and very different to, obviously, this cherry red kind of shade. And then I took this shade with me, which is called Pathfinder, which is like a, I would call it like a raspberry pink kind of shade. It's on the slightly deeper side, so it looks amazing on brown and black skin tones. So that's it for all the makeup. Let's go into the skincare now. Out of all of these things, only one thing came with me, because what I tend to do when I go abroad is all those samples that get sent to us over the year, you know, a random skincare sample in a little packet, da, 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 I collect them and I take them with me abroad, and that's exactly what I did. And all I did was use samples out there. The only thing I didn't have a sample of was sunscreen, and sunscreen to me is the last step in skincare so I actually did want to take a proper one with me. Aside from those days I was abroad and what I've continuously been using I'm going to share with you now. First off is this cleanser which I think I shared with you guys last month. This is from Revectin. This is the Skin Essentials Conditioning Cleanser. It's a hypoallergenic and great for people that have got sensitive skin, acne prone skin and even dry skin. Now bear in mind I've got combination skin but I still absolutely love it. The only thing I don't like is that you can't lock it or close it once it's open it's open however I like you can see I've probably used about that much now it's a really moisturizing cleanser it doesn't strip the skin it's not overly foamy and it's just an amazing cleanser to use as part of the second step 
of your skincare routine. This does not remove makeup. It's not that strong. It's there to just delicately cleanse the skin, remove any remaining makeup or oil-based cleanser that may have already been there and just keeps your skin nice and fresh without it feeling tight. This toner that, again, I've shared with you guys many times is the Revectin Clean Lotus Water Calming Toner. Again, another product which is amazing for acne-prone skin. Revectin is a great brand for people that have got problematic skin, acne-prone skin, angry skin, sensitive skin, allergy-prone skin, all of which I've got, by the way. I've got a 100 different types of skin types. I've got combination skin, acne-prone skin, allergy-prone skin, eczema-prone skin. I go red for no reason so all of these calming kind of products really work well for my skin type so if you cover any of those areas you would definitely love this especially my acne prone people out there this is a great calming toner for soothing that redness that you get with spots now as my skin has been slightly irritated ever since I came back from my trip and I was actually using this before as well this is the I unique black snail restore serum this contains 70% snail secretion filtrate which is basically snail snot 70% is absolutely amazing snail mucin is known for repairing and restoring the skin and my skin has been you know having issues recently because I did go abroad and all kinds of stuff happened to me I got a bit of sunburn all of that so as soon as I came back I continued using this this really hydrates and moisturizes the skin and repairs it at the same time it's absolutely excellent I love products which have got snail mucin in them and then this moisturizer I've continuously been using it came as part of a set it came uh, with a beta glucan serum but I actually finished that so now I'm using just the moisturizer this is the daily moisture cream beta glucan is actually a lot more hydrating than uh, hyaluronic acid um, a lot more so that for those of you that have got dry skin that have got mature skin you want to reduce wrinkles on your face you want to use it for anti-aging preventative reasons you absolutely love this my skin drinks this up a little bit goes a really long way you don't need to use that much and even though it is called a moisture cream and it is more hydrating than hyaluronic acid you can still use this as part of your morning skincare routine I know because I do so every now and then another moisture which again I've shared with you guys before this is by the brand called Mison this is the goodbye blemish soothing gel cream this is great for people that have got acne prone skin they want to soothe their skin they want to calm their skin down they want to prevent acne from appearing as well you will absolutely love this it even says on here suitable for acne prone skin non comedogenic helps to prevent future breakouts improves the skin's barrier function relieves troubled skin it contains niacinamide which is there for poor care tea tree which helps with spots and is anti-inflammatory panthenol arginine various other ingredients which are known for hydrating the skin i use this as part of my morning skincare routine if i'm not using the other one it is in a gel form so it's very very light and it absorbs super fast into the skin and i absolutely love this another product that i rave about here and there now and then but every now and then i have to remind you guys that i'm still loving it is the dear claire's midnight blue calming cream this is an intensive soothing cream so for those of you that have got a sunburn those of you that have got acne have got blisters have got a rash some sort of irritation has appeared on the skin use this this calms everything down tried and tested by me trust me I used it on a blister immediately the soreness went down I got a bit of sunburn on my chin immediately the redness starts to disappear and it starts to heal and it stops that flakiness it's absolutely amazing this is like something you should have in your medicine cabinet it is that good it contains guazuline centella asiatica extract and it even says on the bottle for calming and soothing the skin after sun care so I absolutely love this took this with me to Egypt glad that I did because because I did need it. I got bitten out there. Another moisturizer, one that I've shared with you guys a few times and done a review on, is from the brand called By Wish Trend. This is their Vitamin Amazing Bakuchil Night Cream. Bakuchil is a plant alternative to retinol. So for those of you that are concerned about anti-aging, for wrinkles, skin cell turnover, strengthening your skin barrier, skin discoloration, dark spots on your skin, any kind of environmental aggressors that have caused your skin irritation, you will absolutely love this. This is absolutely amazing, which is why it's called obviously Vitamin Amazing Bakuchio Night Cream. This is a relatively new product of mine. This was actually created by a YouTuber called So Beauty, I think. I will link her channel below. She's a Korean skincare YouTuber and she created this product right here which is called the so good 
Feel So Calm Toner Pad helps to calm and soothe the skin. It contains 83% of cabbage leaf water. I don't think I've ever tried cabbage leaf water, but I'm definitely converted after using this. This is absolutely massive. Listen to it as well. I mean, you can hear a train going past on. So there are 70 toner pads in here which are absolutely soaked with this cabbage leaf water and I absolutely love it. You can see them inside kind of, they're pretty large, they're about that big, I'm not taking them out and making them all dirty and wasting them, sorry you guys. This also contains aloe leaf extract and cucumber fruit extract. Uh, basically that's it, it's hardly got any ingredients at all, 73% of any kind of ingredients, absolutely excellent. I've been using this quite a lot at night, but you can use it in the daytime as well. You only really need one pad, which completely drenches your face in the toner. It's absolutely amazing, it soaks into the skin beautifully, my skin feels soothed, it feels soft, it feels rejuvenated. When I wake up in the morning, any redness that I have on my face is gone, and I know it's definitely down to using this, so I'm really, really impressed with this product, and I really hope that she comes out with more products within her skincare line. This eye cream I've shared with you guys a few times because I've been using it quite a lot over the past few months. It's a relatively new product from COSRX. This is the Advanced Snail Peptide Eye Cream. So it says on here, eye cream that nourishes and brightens with snail secretion filtrate and five types of peptides for a youthful glow. It's literally its first ingredient is snail secretion filtrate. I'm not sure exactly how much is in here, but if it's the first ingredient, you can be guaranteed there's quite a lot. It sinks into the skin beautifully and moisturizes the under eye area. For those of you that have got wrinkles, fine lines, dryness around your eyes, you absolutely love this. I actually layer this on top of a serum, but that's because my serum contains caffeine, which is for puffiness, or as I use this more for moisture underneath the eyes. A little bit goes a really long way, so you'll probably see this in quite a few of my videos. It's just that you only need to apply a tiny amount, dab it under your eyes, over your eyes, voila, a couple of minutes, it sinks in beautifully. When you wake up in the morning and touch your under eye area, soft, smooth, any fine lines that you may have will eventually start to slowly disappear. Oh, my sunscreen that I took with me and that I rave about all the time because it is definitely my favorite sunscreen and has been for quite some time ever since it came out because it's not that old a product. This is from the brand called Beauty of Joson. This is their Relief Sun Rice and Probiotics SPF 50 PA Quadruple Plus. Like I said, I took this with me to Egypt, did not let me down. Doesn't make my makeup go shiny, doesn't move all over the face. It has a relatively satin finish. I wouldn't call it a matte finish, but it doesn't suddenly start to turn everything shiny on my face. It absorbs fairly quickly into the skin, and I have been using this consistently ever since it came out. It's got rice in it, which means that it contains ingredients that are there for brightening the skin. So even though it's protecting your skin at the same time, any kind of dark spots and issues that you may get as a result of the sun this will help to protect your skin from those things from occurring and then the last product I'm going to share with you guys is this sleeping mask right here this is the Laneige Sika sleeping mask this is for calming and repairing sensitive skin. Sika is a known reparative. Soon I'm going to be actually doing a video for you guys which contains nothing but Sika related ingredients. For those of you that have got angry, problematic, sensitive skin, you absolutely love this kind of sleeping mask. It's actually very different to the other Laneige one that a lot of people are used to. You can see that this is white whereas that is clear. That one's got a more gel type consistency whereas this one's got more of a whipped cream kind of consistency. And the reason why you're supposed to use it as an, at night time is because it kind of sits on top of the skin because it is a sleeping mask at the end of the day and it just beautifully kind of melds onto the face and then you rinse it off in the morning. I don't find that anything sticks to my face and like my hair and dirt sticks to my face but any kind of sleeping mask you should kind of rinse off just with water in the morning and then my skin feels lovely and smooth. Any redness or irritation that I've got in the morning has completely gone and I like the fact that it's very very lightweight. I don't like thick creams on my face whether it's daytime or nighttime. Sometimes people wrongly assume that the more thick a cream is the more that it's hydrating and nourishing your skin and when and that's not actually the case it's all down to the ingredients within it so something like this despite the fact that it's quite lightweight still does the job at protecting my skin repairing it as I sleep and in the morning I wake up it looks fabulous and glowy right so that's it for my March 2022 beauty and skincare favorites hope you guys enjoyed the video like comment make sure you subscribe to my channel and I'll see you all soon bye